Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Keck. I'm one of the teachers here with the Hill Life Group uh, at First Baptist Church of Mansfield, Texas. And um, I'm just coming to you now with our very first podcast for the Life Group. And uh, really this podcast is just kind of an introductory podcast to explain exactly what it is that I'm trying to do here and uh, and and what the future plans are for this podcast. So first of all, um, over the, t- of the past couple of years that I've been doing this uh, life group here, I've been trying to think of ways that we can uh, present the life group lesson for people who miss life group. Um, our life group is pretty big. It's pretty close and tight knit. But we have a lot of people in our life group that serve in other ministries in the church. And for whatever reason, they may or may not be able to make it to church on a certain Sunday. And so um, there are ways that we can review that information. For example, we each can get a student uh, guide that goes along with every lesson that we do each week, and that's a great resource. Um, I thought about actually printing out the PowerPoint presentations or the uh, the um, teaching notes that I do and trying to put those out also, but it requires you to sit down and to kind of read what's going on and, and try to follow me, and it's really hard sometimes through text to get my ideas uh, and, and and message out the way that, that I want to portray it. And I think the other teachers might have some of the same issues as well uh, with regard to displaying things on text like that. So one of the things I thought about, now I listen to talk radio uh, daily, so especially during the political season, I listen to talk radio quite a bit. And I thought about radio podcasting, and I didn't really know much about it, so I went and I tried to find a very cheap program that would allow me to do some radio podcasting, uh, which I have found, but of course, you know, everything has its price. And so for the free version of this, I was able, to, I'm able to do a 15-minute segment. And I thought, you know what, 15 minutes is actually a, a pretty good amount of time to review a lesson um, that we do in Life Group. So I thought, well, we're going to try this free uh, lesson style here and see uh, this time limit of 15 minutes here and let's just see how it works. So I was looking for ways that we can that we can spread this message that we can review our life group lessons when somebody misses and I'll give you a good example. Uh, back in December I had surgery on, on my right knee and of course I haven't been back to life group uh, uh, since with the exception of last week when I taught uh, the lesson in Joshua chapter 10. And um that's not the only time I've missed life group, obviously. There are family events that come up. Uh, a lot of times I have to work. Uh, we have another life group teacher, Eddie, who's a firefighter. He misses at least every third Sunday because of his job. And so sometimes it's hard for us to keep up with the lessons and keep up with what's going on. And we want to give you that opportunity to do that. Podcasting seemed like a, a good idea to do simply because you can listen to a podcast while driving to work. You can listen to a podcast while sitting in a waiting room. Um... There's, there's a lot of different places that you can throw some headphones in and listen to podcasts while we're cleaning the house or whatever um, to kind of get ourselves reviewed on the lesson, maybe catch some of the illustrations that we as the teachers uh, brought up during class, and, and kind of stay on track with us so when you come back to Life Group, you're all caught up, you remember the lesson from the, from the previous week, and you know it just kind of helps us to, to keep everybody on track a little bit with what's going on. Uh, especially sometimes during uh, sick seasons and things like that, when we've got children who are sick week after week after week, you literally may have some, some of our life group members who are missing three and four weeks at a time. And, uh, and you know we want to keep all of our life group members in the loop here at the Hill. So that's kind of what this podcast is all about. Um, in setting this thing up, I really was not ready to start. I was not ready to do this pilot uh, episode here. I was not really ready to get things rolling. There's a, a few things that still um, are unknowns to me that kind of bother me just a little bit on how I'm going to do this. Um, and so I'm going to present those to you as a life group class. And maybe some of you have some ideas that you can help me with also. Um, as I told you, it's 15 minutes. Uh, that's all I've got. And so we have to wrap up everything within 15 minutes. And a lot of times that means taking a 45-minute lesson, dropping it down to 15 minutes, and just reviewing some of the key points just to keep us on track. Uh, so it's a 15-minute lesson is what we can do. Um, that brings us to some issues, though, because we're able to save audio files when we do this. The first issue is archiving the podcasts. Um, for example, if this happens to go on uh, for a full year like I would like to see it, and then if it turns out to be a success where we're continuing on past a year and we're, we're doing these podcasts frequently, I would like to be able to archive 
these audio files that we're doing with these podcasts and be able to pull them up at a later time and archive them based on date range or maybe uh, the, the scripture verse or the topic that they're, that they're presenting within the lesson. So those are some, some, some issues that I've come into uh, already is how I'm going to archive. Of course, you can archive with server space. Server space costs money. Um, you can archive these things within a within your hard drive on your computer, which will begin to take up space. And so you can see, uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about archiving a bunch of audio files, but I'm going to throw that out there to you, the life group, to see if you have any ideas to help us out on that. The second thing is, how am I going to present these things? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm not sure yet because I haven't tried it, but uh, by the time you listen to this podcast, you'll know if I figured it out. But I think we can upload audio files to Facebook, which would allow me to put this audio file directly into, put the podcast directly into our Facebook page for you to pull up and listen to. If that doesn't work, then we have to find some kind of a medium with which to distribute this and allow us to share with others who may or may not have our Facebook page or may or may not have a Facebook account at all. So what this uh, that's just another issue that I have to deal with is what kind of website I'm going to use. Now, just to give you a little bit of background, several years ago, you know, I felt God calling me to do a ministry called Shockwave Ministries. Um, the idea, the principle is the ripple effect where we create an impact somewhere and that impact it, it sends shockwaves. It, that impact moves outward in a circular direction from the point uh, where it started. And then if we have a lot of different points that start something, eventually these shockwaves that move outward in circular motions are going to overlap each other. So that's the concept behind the name Shockwave Ministries. And what that is is us going out and telling people about Jesus and if we all do that, if we all go to our places and tell people about Jesus, and they tell people, and they tell people, and they tell people, the coverage gets bigger. And that's what Shockwave Ministries is all about. So, many years ago, I got a domain name, shockwaveministries.com. Uh, I, I, you know, I have a free, a free web page that I really don't know how to plug it in. I really don't know what to put into it because God hasn't clearly told me what's involved in shockwaveministries.com. So maybe that's an option to put the podcast on shockwaveministries.com somewhere uh, under a heel tab or something like that. Uh, maybe that's an option, but again, uh, it costs money because, you know, a free web page through my provider um, does not give you very much data space to, to store and archive these uh, podcasts. So that's another deal I'm just going to throw right out to you. Um, and distribution is being able to share it with other people, being able to save the file, listen to the file, share the file with others. Um, and then, uh, you know, another issue that we're going to have in doing these podcasts, too, is I would like to get all three of, uh, of the life group teachers together as much as possible and have discussions related to the topics that we taught on that Sunday. Um, but, you know, time constraints come in all the time. We have a hard time getting each other together. We have a hard time... Uh, uh, making those plans. I mean, we all have kids. We all have things going on. And so that's going to be hard for us. But you can look forward to it in these podcasts, all three of us getting together and having discussions about certain topics. Um, and, and my guess is um, we may end up laughing more than we end up talking on some of those podcasts too. But um, but that's the, that's the ultimate goal and the ultimate plan at that point. Uh, finally, the last issue I have is I really don't know what to call this thing. You know, I thought about calling it maybe the Hills 15 or, uh, the 15 minute review. I don't, I don't really know. Um, so I'm going to throw that back out at you also. Uh, let's think of a good name for this podcast. My goal, uh, and what I feel kind of led to do here is to try this for a year and let's see what happens. You know, if we can try this for one year, uh, the podcasting each week for one year, have the, whichever life group teacher taught do the podcast or uh, have all three of us get together on those rare opportunities that we can all three get together and have a discussion about the topic that was taught. And so uh, I want to try it for a year and see what happens. Um, and maybe we can keep this going uh, even past that. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it's been a, about 10 minutes now that I've been talking. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to use the full 15 minutes for this pilot. Uh, 10 minutes probably was even too long as well. But right now, I want to thank the one person who actually is listening to this podcast today. I appreciate your attendance. Um, <laughs> I'm really just hoping there's more than one person that listens to the podcast. But I appreciate that. All of you in the life group, I, I certainly do appreciate you coming. 
each and every week when you're able to make it. you got to understand a lot of our life group folks are actually on the other side of the building every Sunday, uh, ministering to the children, ministering to the youth, and, and serving in other capacities of the church. And that's why it's so important, I think, that we try to keep everybody reviewed with the lessons each week. We want to keep you in the loop. We don't want uh, people to feel like they've missed the whole book of Joshua or the whole book of, of Deuteronomy or whatever we're learning at that point in time. I don't really like the idea of people missing out on all of that. So we're going to try to keep this podcast going. Once again, I thank you for listening. Um, you can look forward to my first podcast uh, coming out, which is from last week's session in Joshua chapter 10. And that will be coming out in the next day or two. I'll complete that podcast and send it out as a review. And then uh, we'll just move forward from there. Thank you so much for listening.